I really think this is probably actually the most useful part of the, the lesson is if you're you know listening into this and finance is exciting to you, or even if you're listening into this and you're saying, well, hey, I wanna be a data scientist, but maybe not in finance, maybe in marketing, or maybe in some other domain. Well, this is a recipe for how you can become a financial data scientist, but a data scientist in any domain, and, um, and how you can go from literally knowing nothing about data science to, uh, in a very short period, having all the skills and be hi being highly marketable to these companies that demand certain skill sets. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So we've all seen, uh, if you're on LinkedIn, we've probably all seen this um, infogram or whatever it's called, infographic. And it conveys a data scientist, both male and a female, as these you know, people who have, uh, consist of a bunch of different skills in math and statistics, domain knowledge and expertise, soft skills, programming, communication, and it's kind of like this unicorn is, is what, what I like to call it. But it's really focused on the tools and the skills that they think that data scientists need to learn. And I'm here to tell you, it's flat out wrong. This, this, um, I hate this graphic because honestly, it confuses the heck out of me um, and it leads people that are beginning in data science into a path of trying to learn every different tool that's out there. And that is not the smartest approach and that's not the best use of your time. So if you wanna become a data scientist and if you wanna do it fast, then listen up. One key thing, if you take anything away from this section, is that skills don't sell. I, you know, it doesn't matter if I'm a hiring manager, it doesn't matter if you know, you've got all of these different skills and neural networks and this and that, you know, that's, that's great. But what can you do for me and my company? That's, that's what sells. So value sells, not skills. And that's what I wanna showcase you to, for you today is the key question that we have to ask ourselves is how do we provide organizations value? Because that's how you're gonna get a job and that's how you will be effective in an organization. That's how you're gonna accelerate your career too. Um, so what do organizations value? That's the first question we need to ask ourselves. And then the second question is how do you fit into that equation? How do you create value for that organization? I'm gonna show you how. So it's very simple for an organization. You create value by reducing costs, you create value by increasing revenue. You create value by maximizing profit. So if you can do any of these types of things as a data scientist, then you're contributing to that organization in a meaningful way. You're generating business value. So how do you specifically generate value? Well, I'm here to say it's very simple. You need to take what you're doing and building as a data scientist and you need to take that into production by building web applications because that's what organizations demand and that is the one way that you're gonna be able to take machine learning and or financial analysis or whatever type of function that you're doing, whether it's finance, marketing, sales, accounting, you need to be able to distribute that analysis in a way that non-technical people are gonna be able to interface with your, your, your program. So if it's a stock prediction app or a stock, um, say it's a, a, you know, even just a, a descriptive analysis like the, the, um, the calculation that we did here, people are not gonna go into your code and, and use that. People are going to use an application that uses your code under the hood to be able to pick a few different stocks for their portfolio and analyze what the best combination is and then make better decisions because of that. So you need to be able to do this as a data scientist. That's, that's what you need to do. Don't focus on that graphic, focus on building web apps. So the, um, the key thing I wanna say here is apps improve decisions. This is just reinforcing what I just said but it's real. This type of application that analyzes uh, HR analytics can save an organization $15 million per year just by training the organization and the managers how to better and more effectively deal with personnel and uh, not overwork them with, with high overtime, give them you know, incentives like stock options at certain time periods. So you can help managers do this, the same thing you can do in finance. You can give them access to an application that you build that utilizes this portfolio analysis under the hood, and then they can make better investment decisions, and then they're, they're making data-driven decisions. So you need to be able to build apps. Uh, this chart is quite a lot to take in, but really the ultimate goal is be able to take a business problem, utilize a bunch of different skills that you have to be able to integrate 
together to be able to solve a problem and build one of these, these web apps. So you can see there's a bunch of different tools. There's tools for data preparation. There's tools for modeling and visualization, which is in the experimentation phase. There's tools for reporting. There's tools for deploying web apps. And we're gonna talk a lot about these um, in some upcoming uh, learning labs. And then finally, you integrate those tools into a web-based app application that integrates machine learning. And eventually, once you roll that out to an audience and train them on how to use it, you should see charts like this where your costs go down, your revenue goes up, and you can track your performance of your data science team financially based on how much money it's, it's saving your company. So it looks like a lot, but it's really not. And here's the, here's the big thing. So how do you become a financial data scientist or a data scientist in any domain? Well, you start here, then we all start at the same spot. We know nothing. Um, I, I shouldn't say we know nothing. We know a lot of things, but it may not be data science, right? So what we do is we, we can follow this learning trajectory where we first learn several of the tools using projects. Projects are key because we need to not just learn tools, but we need to learn how to apply tools, right? We can't just learn tidy quant. I mean, yeah, we just kind of did in this lecture, but if we do that for every single tool, we're not gonna know how to integrate them. We're not gonna know how to solve a real problem with them. So what we need to do is we need to uh, learn by, by taking projects and we need to see how the tools fit into the equation. So that's what these first courses do that I'm gonna show you and talk about. It's the R track, it's the 101 plus 201 bundle. If these are two different courses, 101 teaches foundations, 201 teach, teaches advanced machine learning and business consulting, mainly focused on return on investment, generating financial results for your company. So once you get that down, and that will take several weeks to complete, then you need to know how to integrate those. And that's what I'm currently getting ready to roll out is our first web application course. It's gonna happen in about a month, and um, I'm actively working on it right now. It's really good. Um, you're gonna develop a web-based application using a technology called Shiny and Flex Dashboard. And what these do is it allows us to integrate our data science into a web application. And I have news for you. Once you get this down, you can build web apps in as quick as several hours. Like literally, you can pop these things out left and right. And you can, um, and, and they're production ready as well. So it makes you highly effective as a data scientist. And then the last component, you need to have domain experience. So this comes from the learning labs. We're going over tidy quant right now, and we're gonna have more courses on financial analysis. So if that's your cup of tea, then I got news for you. It's very exciting. I love finance, and we're gonna be doing more courses on it. In fact, I'm talking with companies right now who want me to build courses for them, and guess what? We're gonna be doing very similar courses to what I'm building for them in learning labs. So you get the benefit. Um, but if your cup of tea is marketing, we actually have a, a marketing course that we did a few weeks ago. And uh, it was Learning Lab 3 on a marketing case study. And we're gonna be doing more of those. So if you start to kind of add all of this up, you have a very clear path to go from start to finish. You start being a beginner, you quickly learn some of the tools and skills and you apply them to actual projects. And then you, you get to the web development and then you get the domain expertise. And then by the end, you're at the finish line and you're able to get a job because you're going to be highly marketable. You're going to have skills that organizations will be drooling over. And honestly, it's the skills that when I was consulting, getting consulting jobs left and right, it was building these things. And, and here's the other thing too. You're going to be so much more valuable than your other peers that aren't doing this sort of thing. The ones that are wasting the time learning all the tools and this and that and math and statistics. Don't get me wrong. That stuff's really important. I love math. I love statistics. Uh, Honestly, I really, you know, those types of things like the deep learning, those are great, but this is the stuff that really gets business results. And then in, unless you're getting into some really high end stuff where you're using like images or text to speech or, you know, that sort of thing using deep learning. Um, but for most of us, really, this is the skill set that you want to learn. Um, so we talked a lot about this kind of modern data scientist and, and what everything that they need to, to, to learn. What I'm here to tell you is these are real data scientists and these are the results that they're getting for their organizations 
And these are the things that are actually happening out there in the real world by taking the courses and the programming at Business Science University. So the first one's Rodrigo. He's a data science consultant. He cut down his project time to deliver solutions to his clients by 50% of the time by taking our courses. That's the first one. Second one, Adam Mitchell. He um, proclaimed on LinkedIn a couple of weeks ago, he's, he's new into the 201 course, but he's learning H2O and he can already apply a lot of the stuff that he's learning and he can't wait. He's so excited about it. He can't wait to the weekend so he can study up and then next week bring all that study to his organization to generate value. And then the last one here is Mohana. Him and I have had several dialogues back and forth and really the, the cool thing about him is how much more productive he is now because he's 10x, he's finding it 10x easier uh, to be able to apply these data science skills to his job rather than trying to waste time figuring out the syntax. He can focus on asking the business questions and the things that we teach in the course because he's got that foundation and he's got the machine learning down. So these are all about achieving results that matter to the business. And this is what you can do, and this is what will get you that job. So the platform is what I'll talk about. The nice thing about this platform is everything's in one spot, and it's right there for you. It makes it super simple. All you need to do is start and, and go to the finish line, just take the courses, and you're gonna get the skills, and most importantly, you're gonna understand how to generate business value. Um, the, uh, the two components that I wanna talk about Business Science University courses, and I want to show you what the difference is. So these are six to 10 week courses that are released every three to six months, and these are longer time periods that it's going to take you several weeks to, to complete those courses. That's the 101 course, the 201 course. Those are Business Science University courses. Then we also have the learning labs. These are tactical. These are things that are on specific topics like finance, like marketing, time series, web scraping, you name it. These are very uh, important skills to have, but they're not, they aren't necessarily covered in the core curriculum of Business Science University. So if you do Business Science University and the Learning Labs, you get both and you, and you become a really well-rounded data scientist, learning the skills that you need, but most importantly, learning how to generate the business value. Uh, we don't just kind of cut you loose, whether you're in Learning Labs Pro or whether you're in the Business Science University, we are literally have an entire community that also you have access to me, the instructor. So you're basically able to ask questions, you're able to, to network with other students, and you're able to really get questions answered very quickly through the Slack channel that, that we have. It's private, it's only for people in the art track or it's only for people in the learning labs too. We have over 600 students now that are active in the 101 and 201, and that doesn't include another thousand plus students in our other course, um, the Jumpstart with R. So we're growing very fast and it's definitely something that you guys should take advantage of. All right, so I wanted to go over that. That's how you become a financial data scientist. Now I'm gonna do a quick 30 second recap. We talked about how to become a financial data scientist, but also a data scientist in any domain is by learning these foundational tools so you aren't gonna learn the tools, but you're gonna learn how to generate business value with those tools. And that is a completely different approach than what most courses do. What we do is we take it from a problem solving perspective. We give you a problem and we progressively walk down through it and explain how to solve it and show you where the tools integrate. And you actually repeat along with us as we go through every stage of the Business Science University course. We, we also showed you that the real benefit of generating business value is through taking models into production, and you do that through shiny web apps or Dash web apps, but basically you have to be able to build these web apps if you wanna be effective as a data scientist. Uh, and, and the last piece here is if you wanna be a financial data scientist, it's really easy. You just take the courses, and then you combine it with the TidyQuant learning lab that we did here, and you pretty much have a solid background. of uh, Skill sets that companies are gonna be drooling over. If you tell them, that you're able to build web apps with that integrate into financial data. I wouldn't even mention TidyQuant, just tell them that you know how to build these things. They're gonna be drooling over that. They're gonna love that. So don't do this, do this. Um, the last piece here is I'm gonna give you a Learning Labs promotional code. It's going to expire in five days, but really what I want you to do is I want you guys all to have access to 15% off 
and what I suggest is the R track bundle because that gives you the 101, 201, and that saves you an additional extra $100 or so uh, by combining the two in a bundle. It's the most cost effective approach and it's really good. It's uh, changing, it's literally changing data scientists' lives. Um, and you, you heard what, um, what some of our students, you know, some of the results that they're getting, you can get that, sa that same result, more productivity, less time to complete projects, and really being able to focus on asking questions and driving business value, rather than fit, trying to figure out what do I do here in Python or R. Okay, so five days, Learning Labs Pro, or Learning Labs is the discount code, 15% off. Uh, definitely, it's, it's, it's gonna be worth it to you guys.